Hello friends, Tal here and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about information coming to us straight from Gamescon over in Germany about patch 7.1 Return to Karazhan. So this is the first time we got any information about any ideas or plans after the Legion launch. Um, and of course they're coming back with Karazhan. It's going to be a five man dungeon with nine bosses, but it's not going to replace the old Karazhan. So as you can see here, they have a little video for it. I'm not going to be able to play it because, you know, I'll get hit by copyright. Uh, but you can see that Morose is back. The Legion is being invited back into Karazhan. And overall, the video is very dark and, you know, moody, all that kind of good stuff. And you can see here that basically the basic information is that it's going to be patch 7.1. It's going to come back as a large, and they're talking Black Rock Depths large, five player dungeon with all nine bosses. To me that means like they're just gonna take the basic template of the raid and just adjust some numbers and everything so five people can do all the bosses. Uh, but it's going to still exist alongside the old Karazhan. So you can still go back to it, you could farm things, you don't have to worry about that going away. Um, and it's also going to be a small additional raid between the Emerald Nightmare and the Nighthold that wraps up the Stormheim story. Which I'm gonna go ahead and assume is the story of Sylvanas uh, and her Valkyr that she's trying to do and all that other stuff um, very interesting because they, we didn't have this previous knowledge of this extra additional rage and when they say small additional raid is that are we talking Sartharian with you know main boss three optional bosses are we talking a um, the what was, I don't know I don't remember the, the name of the raid but it was the one right after uh, Dark Dragon Soul that was like a small additional raid to bridge the gap between the story of Lich King uh, or no the bridge the story not after Dragon Soul but the one that bridged it into Cataclysm uh, so it was after the what was it ICC yeah so it's just a small additional raid don't know what that means uh, but you can see here that they've said that encounters have been play tested internally and it is good to go which is always worrying their play testing internally doesn't always uncover every little thing so something to keep in mind but very interesting they're adding an additional raid between the two it's going to wrap up the story of the zone um, patch 7.1 is also going to have additional outside content related to Suramar and the Nightfall and Story. It's going to be out on the PTR right after Legion launches, which is interesting because that means that we have a pretty good schedule for content coming out. And that's basically the, the rest of the thing is that just them giving information about how they want to make sure that they're not rushing expansions anymore. They're not focused on it anymore, which thank Christ because they have, they, they killed wad right they they let wad out and they shot it immediately after it took two steps um wad was a bad bad time for world of warcraft because there was so much hype there was so much good um good karma good good positivity going towards them at the beginning of the expansion and it died out very very quickly um but their number of priority is making sure that you don't run out of things to do and they're not going to try to rush an expansion they're going to make sure there's always content and raid tiers should last between four to five months so overall it's not too much information i do want to stress that all this can change this is not even you know the expansion hasn't launched this is gamescom information that they're giving to us letting us know that what they have planned is a five-man dungeon with the first patch of seven point of uh, of a legion and it's going to be nine bosses it's going to be a nice big sprawling dungeon for five-man groups which is going to be very interesting if they mix in the mythic plus i can't wait to see how that works um but i'm very happy that they're going ahead and sticking to their whole wanting to give more dungeon content in the in the expansion as the expansion rolls along and more five-man content um very very interesting i can't wait to return to karazhan i just see that return to karazhan uh, i didn't play through in bc so i don't have that nostalgia for the original raids here but i'm looking forward to seeing what they've done with it in legion especially with the legion invasion forces being invited into the tower but anyways guys just want to go ahead and get this information out to you if there's any more gamescon information that is released i will be making videos about it getting it out to you guys and i hope you guys like this video if you did drop it a like subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about just general content patches and information and tanking and beyond that, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching this. Hope you have a fantastic day.